Anthony DeGrasso here bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on Axon Enterprise. I'm going to go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below. And if you like to hear daily stock recommendations, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get right into it. So Axon Enterprises is a provider of law enforcement technology solutions. Uh, it's engaged in the development, manufacture, and sale of conducted energy weapons, also known as the conducted energy devices, which it sells under its brand name of Taser. Everybody doesn't want to get tased. In addition, Axon offers an office officer body, Axon body and flex, and an in-car Axon fleet cameras, as well as a cloud-based digital evidence management software called evidence.com. It also develops, manufactures, and sells fully integrated hardware and cloud-based software solutions that enable law enforcement officers to capture, securely store, manage, share, and analyze uh, video and other digital evidence. Its segments include Taser and software and sensors. The Taser segment produces the Taser 7, the Taser X2, the Taser X26P, the Taser Pulse and Bolt, cartridges and Axon evidence and cloud services. The software and sensor segment uh, products include Axon Body, Axon Flex, Axon Fleet, Axon Dock, Axon Evidence, and Cloud Services, and Taser Cam. Wow, they definitely have a lot of uh, a lot a lot of products. So let's bring it back here. So let's go over some recent headline news that came out there. Now Jim Cramer is interviewed uh, the founder a couple times on the show, and he actually he actually had him on a few days ago, um, where Smith said that no matter where you fall in the political spectrum, police accountability is something someone can agree on video he said plays a big part in making that happen as he uh as does providing police with non-lethal ways uh, to apprehend suspects like tasers to date 220,000 people have been saved from death or serious injury by officers just using the tasers instead smith also um, was uh, bullish on axon's overseas prospects he said there are 10 times as many police officers outside the United States and international will be a big driver of growth over the next five years. And I definitely agree with that sentiment. So let's go ahead and look at some fundamentals while we're here. So Axon currently has a market capitalization of currently $10.38 billion. Let's look at its current revenues right now. It's increased over the years from 90 million in 2011 uh, to 531 million in 2019. It has had negative earnings, though, in the past year. The projected revenue for 2020 is $663 million with negative $27 million in earnings. Uh, the company is projected to be profitable towards the end of 2021 and has projected revenue of $879 million by the end of 2022 with an estimated uh, earnings at the end of 2022. Uh, to be about 80 million dollars so exxon is forecast to be profitable again very shortly which is considered above average market growth it's currently trading a high 165 dollars and 47 cents a share today it's basically at its all-time high so uh let's let's can bring it back over here so axon's revenue which increases 16 percent per year projected over the next couple of years it's forecast to grow faster than the u.s market which is currently at 10.6 percent per year Axon has a strong balance sheet with its short-term assets of $875 million, exceeding its both its short-term and long-term liabilities. Axon has no debt, therefore it does not need to be covered by operating cash flow, nor coverage of interest payments is not a concern here. The company has been investing aggressively to support its growth, going after what it sees as a big opportunity in software and services. For example, Axon is expected to spend about $100 million in research and development in 2020 alone and $140 million by uh, 2022. Although the company has been executing well, it must continue to generate a high return on invested capital to keep the story going. One risk factor to consider is budgetary pressures on the police over the past year to the when you said the you know the fund of the police since the vast majority of axon's revenue are from police and law enforcement officials but some investors are justifiably concerned but however this concern has been slowly uh, fizzling and i'm not too worried at all about that risk factor the company does face competition with motorola though uh, through it enjoys a large installed uh, base in the law enforcement uh, field. It, it's basically encroaching on Axon camera and software business. 
Axon still is the leader in the camera though, but Motorola has good software offering that enables integration of Motorola's communication, equipment cameras, and command center software modules. I think both Motorola and Axon can compete in this market because the market is huge and growing year over year. So what do the analysts say about this uh, particular stock? Now I looked uh, at, at a few of uh, the different trading platforms and they're kind of like a consensus right now. 30% are a strong buy, 30% are a buy, 38% are a hold. The analyst price targets though, have a high end of $185 a share to a low end of $115 a share with an average price target of around $139.75 a share. So around $140 is the average. And it's currently trading a lot higher than that at the moment. Now, looking at some research reports, a new constructs research report recommends investors avoid uh, Axon because it has more downside risk than upside potential. And I'll get into that. Ford Research uh, Equity Research Report projects Axon will perform in line with the market over the next six to 12 months projection. And it's based on their analysis of three key factors that influence common stock performance, which is the earning strength, relative valuation, and recent price movements. Now, the ownership breakdown of the company is about 89% is owned by institutions, 1.2% in individual insiders, and the general public owns 9.4%. Axon's insiders have only sold shares in the past three months, but only approximately like 3,000 shares, and that, that, that's significantly much. I'm not really concerned with that. Uh, but there is one concern there has been dilution of shares shareholders have been diluted in the past year with the total shares outstanding growing by about 7.1 percent per year so am i a buy hold or sell recommendation on axon enterprises here are my thoughts first let's go over the valuation profitability growth financial strength and analysis now examining the valuation analysis because the earnings of axon are currently not available for the end of 2020 we have to you know project that uh, for the end of 2020 the price of sales and the price to book ratios are the most appropriate valuation measures therefore axon seems highly valued right now with the price to sales ratio of 15.47 times that is one of the highest in the airspace and defense industry which is supported by a price to book ratio of 11.54 times that is also the highest in the industry Looking at the profitability analysis, Axon losing money on the operating basis, it appears to be an inefficient company over the past year, and it's going to get pro the profitability again. While its profitability is among the best on gross margin basis, its bottom line, the net margin, is among the weakest in the airspace and defense industry. So let's look at the growth rate analysis. Now, recently, the earnings trend at Axon has been weak. Over the past 12 months, the company has lost 66 cents a share compared to the prior period's profitable uh, results. However, the performance was to be expected, though, as the typical company in the airspace and defense also posted weaker results for the same time period. Now, the financial strength of the company, it has no debt such, uh, such that there's not very there's very little financial risk involved in that. I definitely love this company. I definitely don't want to get tased though, but I definitely love this company. I think it will do great things over the next few years with the Joe Biden administration stance on police accountability, potentially increasing the number of governmental contracts should be coming up for this company. That's what I'm projecting over the next couple of years. So let's let's like, you know, let's roll the dice on that one. That all being said, taking into account the current fundamentals of the company which are solid and they're going to, you know, they're getting better because they were a little unprofitable this year, but it's, it's, it's on, it's on the up and up. Let's, uh, on the fundamentals, the valuation and the future analyst projections of a lot of growth and a lot of, uh, revenue over the next couple of years. If you would have asked me a couple of weeks ago on January 11th, 2021, my recommendation would have been a strong buy for the long-term growth over the next few years to target a price of a dollar or $185 a share. That was when the stock was priced at $125 a share, but now it has increased drastically to a bloated stock price of $165.65 as of this exact moment. So my buy holder or sell at this exact moment at a price of $165, I do agree with the Ford Equity Research Report that projects Axon will perform in line with the market over the next six to 12 months, and I recommend a strong hold position for the short term. I am still very bullish on Axon in the long run over the next coming years, but I have to be realistic in the short term of what price would I consider buying into the stock at the current moment. We are in an extremely bullish market at the moment, and I see a fair valuation price of around $125 a share. I would hold 
until a pullback comes on the stock and target a price between $125 to $135 a share and hold for the long-term growth strategy to reach that $180 to $200 a share price over the next two to three years. Do remember though, this stock is definitely overvalued. Remember that at the current moment, based on its current price to book and price to sales ratio compared to the rest of the US aerospace and defense industry average, I think the human psychological factor and overall market conditions has taken this stock up over the past few weeks. But be warned, if and when the market does decide to correct, we will definitely see the price fall back to in line with the fair market valuation around $115 to $130 a share. And right now at the exact moment, let's bring up uh, let's bring up that uh, that valuation right now. I want to show you this. Right now let's go, let's go over a 1 month time frame or 5 day time frame. All right, so as you can see here, it it busted through it busted through the $160 mark right here and it is fighting that resistance lines as we speak right now. So um, it, it, since it's refining that, that $160 mark, it might pull back in the, in the next week or two to between the $150 to $160 a share. But what are your thoughts? Um, let me, let me bring it back. Uh, let me bring it back here. So what are your thoughts? Are you a cautious bull like me at the moment? Or do you feel that this will rocket to the moon over the next year or two? Well, I definitely know it's going to rocket to the moon over the next couple of years, but you think it's going to you know, decline over the next six months to 12 months? Please leave your comments down below. I would definitely like to know your thoughts on Exxon Enterprises. So there you have it, folks. Now, as uh, as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below and definitely consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily stock analysis uh, recommendations. Until the next stock update video today, guys, ciao for now.